Welcome to the July edition of the Comcast Spotlight. My name is Brennan Keene. It is my pleasure to serve as the chairman of the Chesterfield County Chamber of Commerce, uh, where you can get all your business needs uh, addressed, and, uh, and we're really excited about being uh, partners with Comcast on uh, the Comcast Spotlight. This is Andrew Pagalis with Acclaim Properties. Andrew, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Um, I understand that, uh, well, in addition to being the managing member of, uh, of uh, Claim Properties, you're a recovering lawyer, insurance broker, and many other things. So yeah. tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, uh, born and raised in New York and uh, um, lived in at Atlanta and, uh, and D.C. for about 15 years. And I met my wife up there, um, and we, we decided after we got married that we would get into business together, that she and I, uh, we looked at a lot of different businesses in a lot of different locations and we we found Richmond um, a little more than seven years ago uh, as we were looking at real estate. Tell me a little bit about the company. Sure, well Acclaim Properties is uh, is really our uh, sort of umbrella parent company. Uh, under that we have Acclaim Centerpoint that um, that owns and operates the Centerpoint office building which is at the uh, by the corner of Lux Lane and Charter Colony. Um, and then about two years later, we formed uh, Acclaim Boulders to uh, acquire and own 1000 Boulders Parkway, uh, which is the Boulders Office Park. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, in April of last year, we had a tenant downsize uh, at Center Point and left about 3,700 square feet of uh, prime windowed office space. And we decided to um, take that opportunity uh, uh, and created Acclaim Small Business, which owns and operates the, uh, the business suites, Acclaim Business Suites. Um, uh, and then after our grand opening in December of last year, uh, we actually moved our own uh, home office uh, over into the, the business suites. And so now uh, that we're at the Centerpoint building every day, uh, we've decided to take over property management of both buildings. So it sort of brings us full circle um, and so now we're, we're intimately involved with all the details that it takes to run the business. Tell me a little bit about a business suites and why it's grown as a, 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 as a popular alternative or a, a, an additional um, resource for businesses. Sure. Well, the, uh, um, the industry is, is over 40 years old, uh, but the recent uh, growth has been dramatic. And I think it's because we're an in increasingly entrepreneurial society. Um, you know, the, the prototypical uh, uh, new business owner is someone who comes up with a great idea. They work at their kitchen table. Uh, they might uh, have some meetings at a public place like a Starbucks. Um, but as the business progresses, they realize that they need something a little more professional. Uh, they're not as productive at home as they thought they might be. Um, and they need some better infrastructure. And if it wasn't for this industry of uh, sort of non-traditional office space, uh, the entrepreneur uh, would have to search for office space and work with a space planner, uh, commit to sometimes five or seven years and put deposits down and uh, buy furniture and computers and infrastructure, um, as well as uh, forecast uh, the future of their company pretty precisely. Uh, so executive suites lessen the risk of projecting wrong. Uh, you, don't, you only rent what you need, and uh, when you need more, you rent more. Um, so it allows companies to stay to stay nimble, and we've seen a, a doubling in the number of locations just in the past two years. What's the um, when someone comes to you and wants to rent space in an executive suite? Mm -hmm. What's the typical term uh, in terms of time period that they would um, uh, rent the space, and um, what is the flexibility they have in that regard? Sure. Well, there is some variety in the industry. I, I think standard is is one year. Uh, as far as I know, we're the only ones that will do month to month. Um, and we're able to do that because we, uh, we have lots of technology incorporated into, uh, into the suite for the benefit of, of our clients as well as for us. It's very efficient and easy for us to sort of add and, and let people move out as they need to. Um, so typically one year, but it can be less. That's, uh, it gives folks a lot of flexibility. Do you get a lot of companies that are, who may have sort of, um, short-term projects in the region who come to you that are from outside the region and say we need space for a year because we got a project here for this year is that uh, yes. fairly typical well that that's sort of the the ideal use um, in addition to startups uh, large companies that have any kind of um, either project base or they're going to experiment in in a region they're going to determine if richmond 
uh, is where they want to set up a mm -hmm. more permanent office. Um, so they'll send somebody um, uh, to an executive suite, and, and th that's exactly what we're for. Talking about technology, um, obviously that's something that's important to all of us. It's how we how we stay connected. Um, and you, you said that uh, technology in your office is very um, sophisticated and seamless. Talk a little bit about that. What are the, what's offered to the tenant when they come in um, from a technology standpoint? Sure. Um, <clears throat> well, first, the, uh, the entry access system itself is, is the only uh, IP-based system uh, that allows us to uh, not only grant 24-hour access to our clients, but if they have any special meetings and they want to um, have people uh, come just for a period of time. We can set up separate access codes on a short-term basis. And, um, the conference room is state-of-the-art, and it's beautiful and modern. 60-inch um, uh, uh, HDTV, uh, use our computer with a wireless keyboard or plug your own in to the port on the table. Um, we include the conference calls, uh, the telephones. We include the video conferencing. All of that is, is included. Um, the break room is, is modern and functional and provides free coffee and uh, the, the copy and postage center, uh, sort of our productivity center, um, uh, has all the amenities of, of a big office without all of that expense. Um, you know, and unlike a lot of companies, we, we, don't, uh, we don't mark up things like postage and the, uh, even the copies are just basically to cover the cost. So um, you, you own buildings both at the Boulders and Centerpoint, um, yes. two, two good locations in Chesterfield. Um, Thank you. Um, so why did you choose those locations? Because people come to Richmond and they normally, the first place they look is mm -hmm. um, Innsbruck area. Right. Well, w we looked uh, all over and um, uh, what we liked about, Centerpoint was the first building, and what we liked was um, there was been so much growth in Chesterfield County and not a whole lot of um, the office mm -hmm. um, opportunities. Uh, plus, at that time, in 2005, uh, St. Francis, Bonsacour St. Francis Hospital was just about to open up. Um, 288 had just opened a few months earlier. Uh, so, you know, we're right by the Powhite in 288 right. and, and access to downtown and access to 95 and uh, anybody who has to get up to, uh, uh, to the West End or Innsbruck, it's very easy going up and down 288. One of the things, I, I went to a talk recently, Greg Wingfield, who's the executive director of the Greater Richmond Partnership, said that Chesterfield's one limiting factor is it doesn't have enough Class A office space. We really do have a, uh, for, for economic development opportunities. So to me, the, you're sort of in the sweet spot of, of people coming to Richmond and want to kick the tires. And I think it's a, mm -hmm. it's a great place for you to be. Talk about the entrepreneurs locally. So that's, mm -hmm. that's really, um, seems to be sort of your target audience right now as, uh, along with the uh, Allentown tire right. kickers. Right. Well, uh, Richmond, you know, in the last several years, as a lot of um, the uh, large companies might have, might have downsized um, and all the appeals that Richmond has uh, for lifestyle, we've, we've attracted some very bright and talented people. Um, uh, or there's people that were just kind of surprisingly uh, found themselves in the job market and they've instead look to start companies. Um, uh, is it, we just have a, 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 a wealth of talent in Richmond. Um, it, it never ceases to amaze me what, what new companies we come up with. Yeah, great. Andrew, um, I, I think you're on to something. Uh, I think it's great what you've, what you've done. Um, you've bought buildings in good places and you're operating a, uh, uh, a new business that uh, I think it really fills a market niche. So. I think it's great. Um, thank you for being here. And um, you. if you want more information, there's information on your screen. But go to the websites uh, www.acclaimproperties.us or www.acclaimsuites.com or .us. .com. .com. Thanks so much. Thank you for being here, Andrew. Thank you.